Hello, my name is Stevie Martin with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show how to verify the high availability service status and how to recover if it has gone into an unmanaged state. For the Agile Communication Environment's high availability configuration for Linux deployments, we use three IP addresses. One of these addresses points to the host A server, one points to the host B server, we have a third IP address we call the floating IP address that always points to whichever server is active, host A or host B. And there's this floating IP address we use when we SSH to the configuration or when we want to access the graphical user interface via web browsers for administrative purposes. And there's also the IP address that we point service providers to, for example, the Aura Communication Manager. What we look at in this scenario is when that floating IP address is not enabled or something has happened to put the servers in what we call an unmanaged state. Detailed instructions are documented in the VIA Agile Communication Environment Planning Installation document, which is available from httpsupport.avaya.com. Before we begin, we need to find out the IP addresses of the A servers. We need to host A IP address, the host B IP address, and the floating IP address. We also need to know the system admin password login if remote root access has been disabled. We also need to know the password of the root login. We will need the host A and host B IP addresses. Is this a scenario where the floating IP address should not be accessible? The floating IP address is not accessible in this scenario. So what we'll do is we'll SSH to host A using sysadmin to log into the environment. Once we're in the A server, we must switch over to the root user. Note that the su command means switch user. It does not open another session or change your current open shell. What it will do is change the current user for the current session. The dash argument is important as it says to bring in the environment of the user to which you are switching, and in this case root. This is very important when switching to the root user as it brings in the path variable for that user, which means you can access the root commands of having to enter the full absolute path. Once we switched over to the root environment, we can run the command CRM status. This command will ping all the servers in the cluster and return us a status telling us they're up or not. It will also determine which host that the flowing IP address is pointing to. For this particular example, you see both hosts are available, but that the floating IP address is not pointing to either one of them. This could happen for multiple reasons. Somebody could disable it manually. A script could have ran that did not run properly and left us in disabled state. If you have any questions, you should contact your VIA support to determine what may be the issue here. Another state is what's called an unmanaged state. If you have a state, you will see the output on the right hand side that will show that the heartbeat is stopped and that our status is in state of unmanaged. Once we determine that the floating IP address is down, a good step is to clean up the resource management database. To do this, we run CRM resource, the flag resource, the tag HA service, and the flag cleanup. This will clean up any corruption that may occur in the resource management database to either put us in an unmanaged state or cause us to lose our floating IP address. Our next step, we should change directory to slash op slash avaya slash ace slash bin. In this folder is a script called aceadmin.sh. You run this command with the tag full stat for full status. What this command should show us this time is what we already know that the ACE services have stopped on both hosts. The next step is we want to try to enable our ACE services and get the floating IP address pointing back to one of our hosts. To do this, we run the command we just ran again aceadmin.sh. This time we'll use the tag enable. The success or failure of run this command will be recorded in the ace admin log in slash var slash avaya slash ace slash log slash cluster. In this instance, our application started. What we should do again is run the command crm space status again to verify that we are back in service. Note that our floating IP address is showing again as pointing to host A. We'd run the command aceadmin.sh with the tag of full stat again. As an extra verification, everything's up and running as it should. This time we note that it's showing that our app core started on node 1 and on node 2. 
we have successfully stored the hardware availability service in our cluster. What we'd like to do now is collect any logs, any information we need, and provide this information to device support to determine what may have caused the issue in the first place. In the folder we're currently in, slash op, slash avaya, slash a, slash bin, there are other scripts that collect logs. You can see these are doing ls, star, collect. It shows all the possible scripts we can run to collect any specific logs we may need. The one we want to use here is collect all. It runs all the other scripts, collects every log that's available on the um, server. Once you've collected all the information using the collect all script, take the tar file and download it to your desktop and provide this file to via support so that we may be able to determine what the issue may have been prevented in the future. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.